Rosie, is that you? Yeah. There's some supper here for you. All right, I'll just be a minute. I reckon Ken realised just how wrong you'd been once he heard her do a Juliet. Mm. I mean, you could tell he was gobsmacked. And I swear he had tears in his eyes. Aye, right, that bad, was it? Well, I'll remind you of that comment when she comes home with her Oscar in about ten years' time. Oscar? So better choose someone with a better name than Oscar. <laughs> what you got a scarf on for? Because it goes to this top. That looks weird. Dad, what would you know about fashion? Well, I think that looks very artistic, you look like. Isadora Duncan. Who? She were a dancer. Do you remember, Kev? We saw a film about her once on telly. Did we? Just don't go getting into any open-top cars, because that's what she did. She gets into this car, she flings a scarf... I oh, remember now. Bugatti it was. Beautiful thing. Oh, I trust you to remember it, Carl. Mm. So go on, what happened? Well, she throws the scarf over the shoulder and not realising it's got caught in the wheel when the car sets off. <laughs> and that was the end of her. End of vocal cords! <laughs> She was the founder, you know, of the modern dance. Oh, sure. Hey, do you know what? It wouldn't do you any harm to drop a few things like that in your audition on Friday. I'll go and get my dance book and you can memorise a few names from it. Did I do that? Yeah. Oh, sorry. But you asked me to. Don't be daft and well proud. Hey. All the girls at school now know that we're going out. As long as my mum and dad don't find out. About your love, by I mean you. Right. So we're still going out tonight, then? Yeah, OK. Right, take your jacket off. Do you know, I might have known we'd not get this round here, but it's close enough. Let's try it on. Take your scarf off. I like the scarf. Rosie, first appearances are everything. Now, the woman in the shop said that we can take it back if it's not right. Get off! I want to wear it! Rosie, just do as you're told, please. I've been doing this all day. No! What's the matter with you? What is that? Nothing! That's Craig, that, isn't it? Oh, you stupid, stupid girl. What do you think that is going to say about you in the audition, eh? Get upstairs. You're meant to show him you're a singer. Not a slapper. All the hard work and the effort that's gone into preparing her. And this is how she pays us back. Why, what's she done now? Oh, she couldn't wait till after Friday. Oh, no, I mean, we could have talked about this after the audition. You never have let me see it. Oh, this is about Craig, is it? Your secret's out. What, you knew? No, we didn't. Yes, I did. I saw you spooching with him. No, we weren't. I'm going out. I don't think so. I need to go to Lisa's to do my homework. I'm dead late. Yeah, well, the only place you're going is up to your room. But... But before you go, take a look at that before you say there's no arm in it. Get off me. Why didn't you stop her? Because I just thought it'd force them closer together. Closer? He's practically eaten into her neck as it is. The kids. Yeah, but for how much longer? I mean... What sort of a life do you want for Rosie? I'm going to the pub. No, you're not. I'm oh, sorry. You can't ground me. Can't I? 